Hello, I'm Rob Chapman, and today I'm going to show you this really cool Ernie Ball Expression Tremolo pedal. I haven't unboxed it yet. I only got sent it uh, a few weeks ago when I was away, and I have kept this moment pure and virginal so that I can share it with you. Uh, I think a bunch of my other buddies got given them too, and they're probably going to be doing a similar thing. So what is it? It's five different tremolo waveforms to choose from. And slow rise, slow fall, sine, square, harmonic. Hmm. Control depth rate or both simultaneously. Spring reverb level adjustment. Nice. Nine volt power included. Mono input, mono output. Enough of that yakking. Let's have a look inside the box, shall we? Don't need that bit. Don't need that bit. Wow. Do need that part. It looks really nice. It's uh, something I think Ernie Ball have nailed is this beautiful textural thing they do with their pedals. It's really purple. <laughs> I mean, it's the most purple thing I own, and I own quite a few purple things. Um, let's just get rid of the bag of condiments. So, I'll do you some really beautiful close-ups right now. Uh, on the back you can see it's the depth and rate and a bunch of different sign kind of shapes of waves and reverb as well. Let's have some fun using my beautiful little Kemper profiling beautiful wizardry box and device. And probably, since it's out on the stand, the MLV. Let's make some unusual sounds. <laughs> Kind of as if by magic, Ernie Ball also recently sent me these really cool braided cables. So I was, <laughs> I had forgotten, I'll be honest, and I was just fumbling around looking for some cables. And although these are 25 feet long each, I think 50 foot worth of braided Ernie Ball cable is probably the right thing to use for this beautiful new demonstration. After all, they are ultra durable, tangle resistant and a noise free design. In my opinion, this definitely works better with rhythm, and I think it's more of a subtle adding to chord progression type of vibe, but I'm a complete noob with this pedal, and someone will prove me wrong. <laughs> Yeah, that works really nicely, and it, it adds a whole different kind of layer of things that you can do that you can't normally do. I do love expression pedals, because you can express with them more. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? In fact, I did have an idea for an absolutely ridiculous video um, that I've just spoken to Ernie Ball about. If it comes to fruition, you will understand at this moment in time how ridiculous it will be. <laughs> it's important to note that the depth and rate knobs are pushable. So if you push them, they light up like this. And then what it means is that you can set the maximum depth and the maximum rate, and you can make the pedal a little bit more controllable, which is a really great feature. And the reverb also acts that way. So if you set it really maximum, then at the fullest depression of the pedal, you will have maximum reverb. <laughs>
I'd like to try this with a really different kind of sound, something a bit more synthy and and kind of otherworldly, and see if I can get some really unique and different flavors and see if it inspires me in some kind of way. Let's try that. <laughs> I think for me that's kind of more what it's for uh disrupting a serene and peaceful thing and making it a little bit out of the way and strange and that's really good fun and i applaud ernie bull for making something quite uniquely different it reminds me of a rotor vibe in the way that you would apply it and use it um but it's it's so very different i approve go and try one i've been chappers take it easy goodbye <laughs>